we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to uh, do a quick reading for you. I always say it's quick, but we don't know. Let's get into it. Uh, thank you Aquarius again for being here, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Let me just make sure that something is off. Okay. All right, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Uh, let's get into it. So when I asked the cards, I said, what is the energy or what does Aquarius need to know right now? We got the Five of Swords, okay? We got the Five of Swords and the Moon card. So Aquarius, it looks like any attempt, any attack, any slander, anything coming towards you is going to be... Um, shown to you maybe through vivid dreams you could be getting dreams about maybe someone coming back uh there being a you know an attack on your mental or someone trying to come back and play mental games with you the five of swords upright talks about of course it could talk about slander it could be, it could talk about you know rape it could talk about volatile situations it could talk about harsh communication it can talk about just reversal um things going backwards you know we have six planets in retrograde so things are coming back up or people are thinking backwards now people could want to come back to you and either fight for your affection it's like somebody wants to win or win you over by any cost it's like i heard when i was off camera make you my bitch so somebody's trying to make you their bitch i don't know what that could mean for you but it's being exposed with the moon card in reverse. None of the cards should be reversed. But the moon card came out in reverse. So it's like maybe it's being exposed to you by way of your spiritual practice, your dream state. You're getting vivid dreams. The moon card upright talks about hidden enemies. So this talks about exposed enemies in the reverse. So it looks like any attempt, any attack of someone who is contrary to you could be Capricorn, could be Aquarius, could be Cancer. Pisces, whomever it can be, whomever you, it can even be Virgo coming up. Um, this is going to be exposed. They are being exposed. And it looks like in your subconscious, they're being exposed. Definitely because you have spiritual awareness. You know, this person needs to get some or they need to get some. You've already got your spiritual awareness in regards to these people, this person, that situation. You know that they're trying to come back and it's manipulation. Okay. You need to sharpen your words at this time. So you need to you, let your yay be your yay and your nay be your nay. Let You know, it's just about really speaking your truth, standing up for yourself. All right. This could even be in a love affair or a past love affair. Someone's trying to resurface, come back. But they're playing games. It's the art of manipulation. It's the winning you over. It's to it's the making you my bitch. You know, you believe in my lies or my deception and then falling for um, defeat. Someone not knowing when to accept defeat, knowing when to stop 
when knowing that it's over, that they didn't win, gather yourself and move on. This could even be, you know, a universe spirit exposing someone who just doesn't know how to move on. They could be sneaking around you, you know, and or sneaking around trying to see about you or what's going on with you. They could also want you to engage in some sneaky activity with them. So this could be somebody who's already in a relationship. They like to, you know, kind of jump around. Again, telepathy is, is coming up, all right? You could be, this person could be trying to communicate with you via telepathy. You could be getting some messages, you know, telepathic messages. Let's see what else is going on here for the Aquarius. What is going on here for the Aquarius? Could be a cusper, Capricorn, cusp, queer. The will of destiny. So your psychic abilities are being heightened at this time in regards to groups of people or one person in particular. Uh, with the will of fortune here, it's like destiny aligning, fate. Everything is lining up so that you can take action or that you can protect or that you can change or there will be a change, a great change. And maybe even in your fortune, in your future, you can sit amongst different people, different groups, especially when you get this knowledge. Psychic abilities are being heightened for you and or someone around you. This could be a masculine energy. You could be Aquarius is, you know, masculine energy it could be for you. This could even be you meeting a soulmate, love at first sight. If you're asking about a particular person, yes, they are a soulmate. It could be that they were good or bad soulmate. You know, you have to kind of place that. But um, destiny, change, fortune, the shifting of, maybe even timing, serendipitous meetings. Oh, you may meet somebody. Somebody's trying to meet you by happenstance or coincidence. Oh, you're here. And it's because they were mentally trying to be in the same. So they use like her mental fortitude, um, intense thinking or t telepathy to get you to be in the same place at the same time as they, as they, as they are. Or thinking the same thing. I don't know. It's like someone was like, this could have been somebody's prayer, affirmation, just they're intensely thinking about the fact that they want to be where you are going to be or where they think you would be or they want to meet you somewhere. They wanted to have this like kawinky dink type of meeting. This is somebody who is like trying to set it up by way of spirit also. Or I'm trying to, how can I say this? It's like somebody's trying to. I want to see Aquarius. I know I can't come to Aquarius and say, hey, I want to see you. It, they might not take to it. Um, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to show my hand. I've got too much pride. But let me do some intense thinking about how I want to meet them, how I want to seek them out, how I want it to be kind of like casual. Uh, let me manifest this. Let me pray on this. Let me continuously think about this. So, so this is what someone is doing, like, so that they can be in the same space as you at the same time. What is this about? It could be a masculine energy trying to do this. Yeah, the page of wands. They, they want to opportunity to make up with you, see you. It talks about a whirlwind ro romance. You could meet someone new. It could turn into this. If you want it to be more, you got to ground that energy because the page of wands is combustible it's it's raw passion it's immature it's fun it's ex exploration again a whirlwind romance that could you know kind of fizzle out just as fast as it starts so just be going to any situation knowing what you want um this could even be someone again trying to be in the same space same time as you this is someone trying to meet you a meeting. Someone's trying hard, doing something daily, thinking of you, fantasizing of you daily. Yeah, doing some like magic or putting something out there daily. 
maybe so that you can take to it, you can reach out, you can communicate, you can reciprocate. You could be learning something too. Intuitive awareness that somebody is like fantasizing about you, really wanting you. This might not be a good person. This is somebody that you're estranged from. Maybe you ghosted, they ghosted you. It's like somebody wants to come back. This could be someone, if they ghosted you, it's the ego. It's like, oh, now I want you back, but I can't come and tell you I want you back because I ghosted you. I left you. So I, what I have to do is make you show up to me. You know, show up um, in my life um, because then, um, you know, I feel better about it or I didn't have to let you know that I wanted you back. Some of you are learning something and uh, you're going to put it out there or it's, it's going to allow you to be like a guru, um, a, a spiritual teacher a high priest or a high priestess or just a wise, a very wise philosophical type of person that people maybe even come to. Again, a teacher coming up, a great teacher. You're going to reach a lot of souls. You're going to reach a lot of people. What is this about? So you're going to be in the sun. Um, you could be getting messages from the sun also. I can't make it up. Page, page of Wands. The sun has like a, a different meaning also. Yeah, messages from the sun that brings you Ace of Pentacles, the opportunity for wealth. If you don't see it, it says look again. Self-actualization, fulfillment, psychological development. To where you understand your potential, harvest, money, resources, hard work paying off, finishing what you start, a new business owner. I don't know. It's like there's attempts for people to come back and disturb or disrupt or interject this spiritual ascension. Or interject you getting the knowledge you need to move forward in life and to be extremely successful but the attempts are being made known to you by your spiritual team spirit universe whatever and so they're blocked or you're blocking these people it's like you're lear learning on the job Don't procrastinate. If someone feels like they procrastinated and wasted too much time, too much time between the two of you, they, they don't know how to come back to you. Therefore, okay, so this is ego and pride. They don't know how to return back to you. They don't know how to say, I'm sorry. They don't know, just know how to be regular. It's always been games and theatrics. What what is what else do we want to tell Aquarius? Yeah, five of pentacles, the Empress, the Ten of Wands. So you may have shut someone out, Aquarius, because they came with lack of direction, lack of focus. This person was lawless. Um, immoral, uh, didn't value, didn't value value, you know, just, just no value system, no priority with them. They weren't being guided by maybe um, higher divine light. Was, there was no guidance with them, lawlessness. So you left this person out. This person couldn't, there's no hierarchy to their life or their existence or how they look at people or who is important, who's not important. It's kind of lump everybody in the same or 
if you can give them something or if, if you can provide something for them, then you are valuable for that time being. But it's like this person is just lawless. It was just like unconventional, lawless, out of order. Maybe I heard body or odor, maybe even body. Odor. I don't know. This is like you left this person out because you understood or you're understanding that it's just not for you or this relationship isn't for you or they're not for you or they, they can't give you what you want or uh, to be in this would be you, you know, linking yourself, binding yourself with lawlessness. Um, they're just not guided by any higher power. This could be somebody who doesn't believe in it, you know, supreme being. You left this person out. You started to flourish. Or maybe when you left this person out, you're starting, you will start to flourish if you need to leave them out. When you were with them, you, you felt like you were being used or things weren't being reciprocated. You were getting to a place of depletion or running out of patience, um, tolerance, time. If someone's run out of time with you, the empress... You've come into an abundant place, more than enough. You also did something or you're going to do something that helps you come out of not having enough, feeling like there's not enough, Look, penny pinching, looking over your resources. Something or someone could have set you back, but you feel like every time you get involved with this person, it is a setback. It is karmic or a heavy load to bear with the Ten of Wands. It's toxic. It's drama filled. It's a burden. It's you doing all of the work. You will be taken for granted. You will be put at a disadvantage. It's like understanding. this could even be you Aquarius like understanding that um you have like good karma coming in it's my suffering from negative karma them not taking them taking you for granted not taking advantage of the relationship heavy load oh somebody's still in a ten of wands you and you come out renewed like so this could have been a karmic situation a karmic relationship and you know in karma in karmic situations you both have something to learn you learn your lesson they didn't so they're still in you know burden karma heavy load and you're in a place of flourishing fruition things coming true manifestation being open abundant having more than enough Open for love, open for direction. Things just growing, growth all around you. And they're in a place of just obligation, drudgery, because they, they fail to look up and realize. Yeah, Ace of Wands. It's like you could, um, this is the spark, you know, take the ignition. Something being, you being uh, set on fire, not literally, but like ignited to start your own. The ones talk about enterprise and business and movers and shakers and make getting things done and up for the challenge, throwing your hat in the ring. Um, of course, entrepreneurship. The ones just talk, talk about you being fired up. The ace of wands talks about you, the spark here. Got the you have the ace of pentacles back here, and then the ace of wands here. So you got two new starts, you got a yes answer also. Let's see what is this about? What is the ace of wands? The devil and the eight of swords. So this could even be sexual activity either from you 
or with you, or someone wanting that with you. The spark of binding, the two binding cards, the devil and the eight of swords. So maybe somebody feels like if I can just have sex with Aquarius or you feel this way about someone and I can bind the Aquarius back to you. I can get them to choose to be stuck with me or stuck in this with me or wait for me or yeah I can blindfold them this is like promises to empty promises that someone has made will make to you again somebody wants you in a cycle a binding cycle who is this somebody or what is this? What is the devil? Who is the devil? The six of pentacles, somebody who feels like you're now making healthier choice for yourself or you're on the road to wealth. Um, you're getting gifts or you're using or sharing a gift. You've monetized a gift. Give and take. Somebody also feels like the power dynamic shifted with you. So this is this could be the good and bad of giving. So this is somebody who wasn't giving to you, wasn't giving to the relationship. They kept you in a place of being stuck and waiting for their promises that they made to be made real or come true. Promising you a lot, delivering either little or nothing. And it was deliberate, it was intentional, it was calculated. So I'm going to promise you a lot and um, maybe deliver little to nothing. Yet you came, again, another healthy choice. The lovers, these all these cards re reduced to a six. 15, the devil, 6, 6 of pentacles, the lover, 6. So we didn't have like a choice, life-altering choice here. And maybe you made the choice that this soulmate, karmic partner, twin flame, whatever you subscribe to, they aren't ready, they weren't ready. This was just keeping me stuck or binded, just knowing that this is my twin flame or life partner. It was keeping me stuck, or this person kept me stuck, or they kept giving me stuff. I got that one too, to keep me stuck. Because this could be the good and bad of giving. This is maybe when people give gifts or money to show their affection or their devotion. This is, uh, you know, materialism with the devil, dancing with the devil, extravagance, um, getting in something that will lead you to the road of entrapment someone was trying to maybe trap you could be a virgo sorry i don't know virgo <laughs> lovers gemini it could be gemini somebody wanted your opportunity for wealth if we could get married or you i can bind got gemini coming up again bind this person to me then um i'll have aquarius opportunity for wealth or i'll be aligned to aquarius for what, somebody can't do it by themselves. Someone is not smart enough. I don't know. You know, they just tell me. Someone's not smart enough to do it by themselves. I don't know what that means. Two of Wands. The Two of Wands, it talks about making the right decision. The wrong decision can lead you down to a karmic path where you kind of have to untangle, unravel yourself. Two of Wands says that you've got tried and true, something that's stable, calm. And then you got adventurous, spontaneous, um, flighty, all over the place. It says that this could even indicate like the cheating scenario. So it's like maybe you were dealing with somebody who was cheating on you, Aquarius. This is you, right? Dealing with somebody who was cheating on you. They came and interjected in the relationship. Somebody chose wrong and to the point where they got stuck with and now they they're thinking about the better choice maybe that was or is you Aquarius the six of pentacles how they could have been in something healthy fulfilling 
they didn't make the right choice and um, maybe they're planning to come towards you a decision planning to cut something out or off someone is seeing that the grass can be greener on the other side or it is you're seeing this Aquarius or someone else is previously we had somebody like weighing up the cost the pros and the cons fantasizing about maybe you or you about them procrastinating waiting hoping that you reach out so I just chose wrong wrong person wrong like life choice yeah we got a magician here hoping that they can manifest reconciliation. A coming back together with the Six of Swords manifest. This is somebody who never really told you how they felt about you, that they loved you. It's a secret love. Yeah, Six of Cups, maybe past life lover, soulmate, someone who is emotionally immature, arguments, disagreements because someone's inability to accept responsibility for their part in this it's like they, don't know, they want you to take all the burden the six of yeah six of cups now they're nostalgic thinking about you thinking about the past keep in mind we got all of those planets in retrograde thinking about the past thinking about you thinking of if you'll be compassionate if they show back up in your life, will you will they be well received? Thinking about how sweet, kind you are, how simpler the times were with you, how they didn't say I love you. So we got six of swords, six of cups. Someone didn't choose you, they didn't choose right, they didn't choose the right thing, the balanced thing, the fair thing, the harmonious thing for a person. Someone didn't choose it. Someone's living in the past. Someone's trying to connect the dots backwards. Connect backwards. Someone needs to declutter their emotions. Their emotions are just cluttered all over the place. Yeah, they hurt. Three of swords. Because it could be no communication, little to no communication between you two for an extended amount of time. Again, we got three. Someone divorced separated themselves from something that uh or someone that um they really wanted that they really want yeah hang on i'm trying to get this thing to focus Yeah, okay, that's better. Um, someone, a third party could have came in between you and this person, Aquarius. They came in and they stirred up trouble between the two of you, right? And this person chose that other person because they misrepresented themselves. Like they were maybe divine feminine soulmate or healthy or I don't know. They just misrepresented themselves, right? justice now somebody wants to go backwards and it's like knowing that you need to go backwards before you can go forwards make something right right choice apology someone feels like they need to make something right with you do the right thing repayment of debt or they feel like indebted to you like they need to repay you they need to apologize to you give you something gift you something they know that a decision, so they're going to have to cut something away or cut somebody out. They know that a decision is going to, you know, a decision needs to be made here. Let's see. What else for Aquarius? So this could be in love. It's like somebody also could be trying to come to you premature before they've actually cut out somebody else. So they still have this someone else, but they're like in... I don't know. It's like um, 
conditional statement like, well, if the Aquarius allows me back in their life, I'll cut this person off. Let's see. Be, be weary of that. Be cautious of that. If people really want something, you go after it. Whether, you know, you got to work hard at it and, you know, you, I don't know. Everybody's going to be different. I don't know if I would trust that. I don't want to be a part of you making a life-altering decision. Yeah, all you need to do is believe in yourself. Maybe this person needs that. Um, don't be afraid of who doesn't of losing someone who doesn't want you. Maybe, yeah, I'm, I really feel like I'm talking to this person. It could be you, Aquarius. Yeah. According to Greek mythology, somebody feels like you're their twin flame. You guys were incarnated, brought into this life together, and then you were separated. And now you're going to spend a lifetime finding your way back to one another, which is indicative of a twin flame, right? So, twin soul, you know, um, so somebody feels like you're their twin flame. When this came in reverse, start reclaiming who you truly are. Some of you have already started this because upright it will be start in in a reverse. Maybe you've already started it. Someone sees that or or someone is is trying to reclaim who they really are also. Maybe this is you too, Aquarius. Yeah, the hottest love has the coldest end. Something is definitely ending. For you, for the other person, I don't know. Let's see. I heard you got options though. Life is a great big canvas. Throw all the paint on it. You can't, yeah. Like you, you're gonna have options. Someone's not gonna be able to endure that. Like I don't know if this person's delusional. In the end, you tried and you cared, and sometimes that's enough. Yeah, that's how they may feel like. Maybe they don't get you back or you don't want it. You you decline. You're spiritually connected to those you love. And um, the souls that belong to each other will find their way back together. You know, if it's meant to be. Let's put some shells on this and then get out of here. Okay. Right, Aquarius. Whoa, it's a lot. So you've got abundance coming in. We saw that with the Empress. You've got love. Very nice. You've got a great body. So maybe you're working on your body or you have a great body of work. It's going to bring you money because you did see like a start of something creative, fun, beauty. Your beauty could be bringing you money. Wow. Maybe you're in the beauty profession because you got career. Yep. Can't make it up. Something is closing. You got closure. Maybe someone's coming back to get closure. Maybe you're not going with them. Yeah, because you don't know if this lies. You got lies coming out. Um, magic. Definitely someone's doing magic to try to get you to reach out first because they're an ego. You may just run and leave this behind. Yeah. I'm open. So close and open. So this is like you being right there. Um, the precipice, um, the, the fork, um, fork in the road, closing out, opening another cycle. Very nice. Maybe with friends, okay, or new friends, a newborn baby. This could be business and also could have a newborn baby. You definitely can have new love coming into you, new passion. I think it's the red coral. Or this is you could definitely have love coming into you, Aquarius. A fell on to magic. Maybe you are doing magic to bring in love. Love spells, new love, old love, I don't know. if we can get like a okay so Aries fire sign 
The day for Aries is Tuesday. It's a cardinal sign. Just be determined, confident, and courageous, passionate. It's, a, it's about competition. So um, Aries rules the head. So there could be somebody thinking about you, you know, excessively. It could be Cancer. Mercury coming up. Mercury being in retrograde. Scorpio showing up. It's definitely the past. Six of Cups. Someone wanting to recover something from the past. Someone has nothing to say. You know, it's like they want you to do all the work. It could be a cancer. They're emotional, selfish sometimes, manipulative, could have mood swings, uh, persuasive, uh, sympathetic, imaginative. Their day is Monday and Thursday, so today is Thursday. You know, so maybe um, cancer is like energetic right now, or they they're in your inner energy, or they're trying to penetrate your energy. They could be trying to imagine using their imagination. We talked about that earlier. Someone's trying to use their imagination, thinking about you intensely to try to be in the same place, same spot as you. Um, like, oh, I didn't know you were here, but all the while they were like manifesting that they would be, they would meet you somewhere. They still have nothing to say. Like nothing that is of value. Could be Capricorn. You learned some lesson here. You've been doing this too long, maybe with this person, maybe even in past life. Yeah, you you're achieving something. You're disciplined. You know, you have order, conformity about you. This person is out of order. They're they're operating from the Aries, the head. Um, they just want to win competition battle the fight they think love is a war something has changed within you uranus aquarius um so you just um very electric right now creative like a scientific genius you're studying you're breaking rules. You're going to demolish what's been established. Um, just a big radical change about yourself. It could be in how you look. Also. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. You Some big changes happening for you. Like you're learning something new about yourself. Reclaiming your power. And... Um, these forces that are coming against you that's trying to stop you or take you off your path it's not working because they're being um exposed with the five of swords and the moon in the reverse it's being shown to you if you exposure that um somebody doesn't you know somebody's getting exposed Somebody wants to play with you. Another false start out of immaturity. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Readings are on sale. 40% uh, off. Use code 40 off at checkout. You can also... Um, get your $50 10-minute reading. They're on sale. Take advantage. I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time doing collective readings and then answering your questions. If you took anything from the reading, you can always get back. You can buy me a coffee. And if you're a business-minded individual who, looking to connect with um, 
business minded business minded individuals like yourself go ahead and join the ktmg keep the momentum going monthly conference call where you will get valuable uh, spiritual and practical information valuable information about how to maintain start or grow your business okay uh, you can also get on a complimentary discovery call to see if i can help you with your business see if we can come up with a plan in regards to uh, to move you forward this is what i have for you all links are below thank you take care many blessings to you